Welcome to the Museum of Rock. Have you any interesting news? Yes, we have found a rather interesting island to the north of Mauritania. We believe that it may be of archaeological significant significance. Oh, that sounds interesting. Indeed, we are making final preparations for our voyage. In fact, you may just be just the person we are looking for. Assuming you've got the necessary qualifications, that is. Would I qualify then? Yes, indeed, you've helped us a great deal around the museum. You have the necessary qualifications from the Earth Sciences exam. I have received word from your dig site that the canal has been constructed and the barge is awaiting some final touches. The site foreman ha requested aid of a qualified and experienced adventurer and I believe you would be the perfect fix for this role. Yes, sign me up. That's great to hear. You should speak to the foreman at the dig site canal and make sure he knows to expect you. Perfect. Let's go to the dig, dig site canal. Let us do this thing. We gotta do this. We gotta accomplish this. Everything's gotta be great. Oh wait, let me get a work boots. Leather boots and leather gloves. That way we can travel through that gate. Where would they be? there perfect let me deposit that and deposit that and deposit that bang oops no they're prospector boots okay so if they're prospector boots where's my leather boots I know I've got leather boots here somewhere they can't hide from me they succeed somewhere there. Perfect. Put these back in here. There we go. Nice and easy. Now we can... Now we can enter through those doors. And it's going to make our life a bit easier. Oh, so it's got nothing to do with work boots and you need 153 kudos for it. That's rude. I find that very rude. Oh well, I guess we'll do the like, little walk around, eh? I need 153 kudos to walk through a gate for some reason. I guess that's probably because that's the gate that they always go through, but still, it's a bit annoying. <laughs> it's just a, just a tiny bit, you know. Oops, did not mean to zoom in so close there. There we go. We're making progress, guys. We'll soon have Fossil Island unlocked for the awesome stuff. Hello, the curator said you could use some assistance here. Ah yes, it's about time. We are in the final stages of preparation. There are a few minor adjustments I'd like to make to the barge before we get the crew ready. What can I do to help? Well, we've learned from our previous attempts that we need a sturdier type of wood to keep the barge afloat. However, magic logs had, well, peculiar side effects. Lastly, a new high-grade wood was discovered in a distant western land. It would make the perfect material for the areas of the barge we need to reinforce. So you would like to, me to bring you some of this wood? It's not quite that simple, I'm afraid. You'll have to talk to the sawmill operator at the rock sawmill to the northwest. He'll let you know what has to be done. Okay, I'll talk to the sawmill operator. Yes, I will. Let us do this thing. Let us get our third, second quest of the day complete. And then we got to do a third quest, obviously. You know, if we're going to do two quests, we might as well do three. 
because three quests are important. And I could take a little slightly bit of a bigger break for that one. Obviously I can't construct the bank but I'll be able to do that at 22. Do you want me to make some planks for you? I can make some wood, oak, etc, etc. I'm here on behalf of the Museum Archaeological Team. Ah, wondering when they'd finally send over a member of, their expedi of the expedition. So, what do you need me to do? None of the lumber here is appropriate for the task at hand. However, I've arranged a fairly generous deal between myself and the sawmill over at Hesidius Woodcutting Guild. You'll have to deliver the agreement to the sawmill operator or a representative for the guild if you lack the requirements to enter. Sounds fairly straightforward. That's good to hear. Once the document, document has been signed, bring it back to me and we'll get the supplies sent over to the farmer. Okay, bye. <laughs> right, where would, where's the woodcutting guild at? Um... Where is that? Port Piscarius. So I've got to go to Port Piscarius. Hmm. How do I get to Port Piscarius again? Port Sarum. Right, got you. So, let me go to Port Sarim. By teleporting to our home home. This is 100% probably the fastest way, right? I don't have the teleportation or anything for it, at least. So, you know, that this is definitely the fastest method. We're going to be going, we're going to be doing this quest, and we're going to be successful, and everything's going to be awesome. Because that's the way we like to do it up in here, you know? And as we go in two parts are in, we might us. Well, have they good sound on, but it uh, 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 starts with S and it is C Shanty too, but every song in this game is good, but there is some that sucks, and they are a bit annoying. Yin to listen to, but not this one, because it is amazing. Where are you? Here you are. <laughs> we are going to get uh, 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 all the wood that we need to go to Fossil Island. We're going on a bit of a little trek. Cause we've not unlocked all the cool teleportation methods that uh, exist. We're gonna get there. Uh, Eventually, but it is a bit of a soul grind because this is old school RuneScape and nothing is fast in this game the way it's meant to be because otherwise we will end up like RuneScape 3 and that is a pretty jar horrible let's be re and sits a bit dead over there so we'll just go and work on it. I am going to go to Port Sarim. And then we are going to go to Port Piscarius. How lovely us. Well, uh, welcome again. I would like to go to Port Piscarius. Then I am going to reach Wooden... <laughs> <laughs> Woodcutter's Guild. <laughs> oh no, it started again. <laughs> Let's switch it to Sea Shanty one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just trying to come all over again. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I should not have said that. 
Oh my god, putting those words together would not... Why do I do this to myself? Why does my innocence betray me like such? I swear, innocence dictates that I say things and they sound wrong sometimes and they're not wrong but 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 to anyone other than my weird ass dysfunctional brain they're definitely so, they're definitely strange to say the least <laughs> I, I don't understand sometimes why my brain does what it does to me it just does it and i'm just far fast to sit there and embrace it I wonder what the hell a Logavano plant is. Because that is a big plant, you know, that's enough to feed at least the entire town that it's located in. But they've got multiple, so maybe, just maybe, they could probably. That's a blighted Bolgano plant. I didn't know that they made bolognese into a plant. That, that is some genetic modification that we could do with can you imagine if you took a bite of an apple and it tastes like spaghetti bolognese that'd be mad <laughs> actually that would actually be insane if that happened how am i meant to cross here <laughs> how exactly am i meant to get across oh that way Alternatively, there's a stepping soul that requires level 40, does that say? Level 45, that... Yeah, we're going to have to take the long way around, unfortunately. And I know that we're having to take the long way around an awful lot, but unfortunately, that's the way of the game. Never mind, it's this way we've got to go. We'll get there in the end, guys. We'll figure out the direction that we have to walk. Unicorn fowls be looking a bit golden, you know. I wonder if they drop legendary drops. <laughs> Is definitely the most psychotic way to look at a baby unicorn. <laughs> Said everybody. Ever. <laughs> that poor unicorn fowl, man. It didn't deserve to be looked at like that. See... I'm, 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 a, I'm an honourable person though because it could have gone worse, you know. I could, I could have, uh, I could have actually fire struck its face and then it would have been considerably worse and I wouldn't it. So, I guess moral of the story is you should be grateful that I didn't fireball the baby unicorns face thinking about it that may not be good <laughs> uh, how quickly i resorted in that oh no the skeletons are you going to actively attack me skeletons or are you going to be chill i think the wolves are going to actively attack me really feel like those wolves are 100 percent going to attack me Yep, yeah, I knew it. Leave me alone, you evil little wolves. Wonder where the minecart goes. I'm a bit curious on where that minecart goes. Can he enter the woodcutter's guild? I have a proposal for your guild sawmill. It's from the Varrock sawmill. Ah yes, our sawmill operator was expecting you. Do you have the proposal with you? Yes, I have it right here. Excellent, hand it over and I'll sign it on behalf of the guild if everything's in order. There we go. We'll ship the red planks over to Varrock sawmill immediately. Red plank, wood planks, eh? Those would certainly make for an interesting building material. Thanks, bye. Brilliant. I would like to enter. Oh, 
Never mind. Looks like I can't enter. Right. So, let us teleport to the rock. This is the way to the rock of the glory. Would you like to know? This is the way to the rock of glory. <laughs> We're gonna go and show all these enemies on Fossil Island. Actually, the reason we want Fossil Island is for the damn bird houses. Because we want Hunter XP. <laughs> It is kind of a necess necessity for us to get Hunter XP. <laughs> and I'm a poet and don't even know it. Anyway, we're, all, we're almost there. Well, I have no idea how long this quest actually is. I mean, I did just have to travel halfway across the world. It, it could take forever, for all I know. But... Hey, at least we've got the Chaos Altar. <laughs> chaos Altar is quick travel. All we have to do is end up in the realm of twisty, twisty, twirly chaos until we actually reach the spot that we need. There we go. Let's take it to him. There is your paper, sir. Do you want me to make some planks for you? No. I'm here on behalf of the Museum Archaeological Team. The Woodcutter Guild signed the trade agreement. Great, do you have the documents with you? Yes, here you go. That all look... Oh, sorry about that. That all looks to be in order. I'll get those supplies to the farmer right away. Well done here. The farmer at the dig site would know what to do next. Thanks, bye. Bye bye. It's a lot of errandin, but you know, you know what? I don't care about errandin because I get to unlock a brand new island from it. Oh, a fossil island with bird houses where I can put my seeds and get birds and get hunter XP. And that is kind of the goal in life, you know? I just want hunter XP. My, my hunter and my farming is kind of looking like hot trash right now. Look. Look at those. Look at those massive disappointments in my experience. There's, there's such a disappointment. <laughs> Someone actually got physically offended at the fact that I had free farming. <laughs> Hello there. The supplies uh, have arrived earlier. My men have reinforced the barges and the redwood plants. Thanks for your help. No problem. Is there anything else you need? The barge is prepared for the voyage, so, so I have about done it. Now the barge is ready, you should probably talk to the lead navigator on board. There doesn't seem to be a gangplank. How am I supposed to get on board? The barge guard will happily help you on board. Just give him a prod. Prod, I poked you in the face, ha! <laughs> Hello <laughs> Hello, I'm the lead navigator on the expedition. I take it you're here to help us out? Yep, that would be me. Good, because we're going to need your help if we're ever going to going out on this voyage. What's wrong? You, well, you may be aware of the previous attempts of this expedition. No, what happened? Well, the first barge had some serious design flaws. It didn't fall. Yeah, that would be an issue. The second barge some suffered from feature creep. Senior museum staff stuck their bar in and added unnecessary features. Go faster stripes. A portable fossil centrifuge. And a walk-on mini-museum. Needless to say, it kind of had buoyancy issues. The third barge made it out to sea, but the special sea lamp was used to that was used was used that attracted sea monsters. They didn't make it very far. The fourth also had a special sea lamp. This one attracted icebergs. <laughs> the fifth barge crashed into the sea 
We lost the seventh one. The eighth badge is still here, we think. An accident involving a magical explosion and some talking anchovies means that it's now believed to reside 12 seconds out of phase. <laughs> the ninth version was built using magic logs. The guard Gate, the barge gained some sort of rudimentary sentient. It developed serious depression <laughs> and ran itself aground near Grandor. So what now do you understand why we need your help? Uh, he, he, not really. The voyage is clearly cursed. Oh, right. <laughs> Um, I'm, I mean, I would say that it might be cursed. <laughs> I, 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 specifically the one that attracted icebergs. <laughs> oh yeah, and the magical explosion. That was, that was an experience. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> well, Serene Jen, whether you believe it or not, not know that none of my men will be going on this expedition unless you can ensure the, our safety from the curse. How am I supposed to do that? We're not the first crew to face a curse voyage. Perhaps someone who has experienced one before can give you some advice. Any ideas where I'd be able to find someone like that? Rusty and Karin in Port Serene, you'll be able to find something about the cursed voyages if you ask the, round, the folks around there. I'll see what I can learn. Okay, well, looks like I'm going p to Port Serene. I can't teleport home yet, can I? Yeah, 16 minutes. So, Falador. You know what? Fine, I'll take your exam. It gives me a free experience book I can put into Hunter. Why not? Right. Yep, I already know. I already know. Let's see here. What comes next? Probably that, right? There we go. I'm your... I'm your... So it's going to be the ring. There we go. And the last one is the sword again. Perfect. Easy peasy lemon squeezer and gives me for some free experience. Why am I going all the way to that door? I could have just gone to this door and saved myself for an energy. Oh well, let me put that into Hunter. There we go. Now we're level 12. <laughs> Easiest way to get Hunter experience ever, right? Just put your experience lamps and books into it. And eventually it'll get there. It it definitely saves from having to do a lot of pain and suffering in the early game, that's for sure. But yeah, we just gotta go to Port Serim, then we've gotta go back to Varrock, then we've probably gotta go back to Port Serim for the five millionth time and then Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure we won't have to run around too much. I'm sure we'll all be okay. We've got this thing, right? What's the worst that could happen? It's not like we're gonna crash land on Fossil Island, now is it? Surely that wouldn't happen. A Habs beer. Why would you wanna take his beer? Oh, matey. Ever made a cursed voyage? I have sailed many a treacherous journey in my time, what it be ye? I meant to be setting sail for a voyage on my own, but the crew won't go without some sort of protection. I was hoping someone would know a way to avoid falling victim to the so-called curse. There'd be nothing so-called about curses, young lassie. Aye, it is a matter we take very seriously in our profession. Luckily, there are ways ye can avoid a curse. Great, what do I need to do? Well, it all depends on the nature of your travels. We are heading out on an expedition to an ex ancient, previously unexplored island for the Varrock Museum. 
in the museum, eh? You be digging up bones and them sorts then. Well, I guess so. Then the way I be seeing it, you be needing a lucky charm to do with to deal with that. A lucky charm to do with digging up bones. I I hear folk calling of an odd odd man up in the quarry near Petardom, who sounds as if he might deal with all sort of things. Bah, this young lass is sailing a curse voyage and ye be suggesting lucky charm. What ye be getting at, Ahab? Uh, Listen here, young lassie, there'd be no way out of this curse voyage, out of a curse voyage. However, there are ways one can make it through unscathed. Aye, just like ye and your leg, Ahab. Take no notice of him. I just thought it'd be worth ye knowing all the options is all. Perhaps what would it need to make it through the voyage unscathed? Folk be telling of a special potion, a potion of sea legs they be calling it. A potion of sea legs? Aye, the crew simply drink a potion before they set in, be set in sail and the next thing you know they be safely at their destination. Our magical potions be sounding like nonsense to me. Well, I guess I'll be talking to the navigators and offer both up to the crew and see which I prefer before gathering them up. Thanks guys. Arr. Arr, close enough. Be off with ye, and don't t and talk them to them navigators. You're ruining my rums. <laughs> Yar, <laughs> yo ho fiddle dee. I'm a pirate, and so are he. Yo ho fiddle dee. We are a pirate. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I confuse myself too with the words that come out of my mouth, don't worry. So I swear, if you watch me, then you know that the experience of watching me is the equivalent of like a lucky dip. You're either going to get something perfectly sane and reasonable sounding, or you're going to slowly listen to the sound of someone that's 100% lost their sanity and just isn't aware of it yet. Or maybe they are and they lost their sanity are aware of it. But don't think that they've lost their sanity and I have, I've just like, you know, living in denial, which I'm pretty sure I'm in. I'm in denial that I'm clinically insane. <laughs> I'm definitely not clinically insane. I mean, <laughs> I mean, even if I did, how would I not get tested? Well, good luck with that with the UK system, man. I've been waiting three years for a testing for ADHD and... Wow, I can't even get a bloody questionnaire to fill out. <laughs> Such is the curse of the UK system, I guess. But we'll bear through it because ADHD may do bad light in a job, but with functioning human beings, but it does certainly very good for providing entertainment. My brain is an enigma to myself as well, not just everybody else around me. Hello there. Hello there, how can I help? Can I go to, on the barge? Absolutely, the navigator should be on board. Perfect. I've done it. I've got the I've got the information you need. Hello there. Welcome back. Any luck finding a way for us to make it through the cursed option? Yes, I've got two options actually. Interesting, let's hear it then. The first is to use a good luck charm, something related to our expedition, a lucky bow from an old, old man in Potomodus. The second is a potion of sea legs the crew would have to drink at the start of the voyage. Well, I'm certainly not putting my crew's life in the hands of some lucky charm. I think I'll go with a potion. I think lucky charm sounds like a good idea. Oh, quiet boy, you shouldn't believe in such nonsense. It's okay, I can get both. Fine by me as long as you get that potion. Thanks, Smith. The apothecary in Varrock might be able to help help you out with the potion of sea light. I'd start by paying him a visit. Don't forget your lucky charm at old old odd 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 old man up in Potomodus. Okay, I'll be back once I get the potion of sea legs and the lucky charm. Yes I will. Well, I was kinda hoping that I wouldn't need the lucky charm, but Looks like I have to get the lucky charm, apparently. I wonder... Oh, 
Oh, the odd old man at Pedometer is just north of here. Oh. Wait, where the hell's Pedometer's then? Apparently Pedometer's is there. Interesting. I didn't even know that existed. Right. Well, let's make our way to the odd old man. Because we've already got the ingredients for the potion. Easy peasy. And then surely it won't be too hard, right? Once we're at the dig site, it should be relatively easy. Oh. I can't take those back bones. That's sad. We're hoping I could mess up some bats, you know. We've got limestone there. Talk about Lucky Charm. Hi, I was told you might be able to help me out with Lucky Charm. Oh yes, I suppose I might have something like that laying around. Mumble, mumble. Why you, would you be looking for such an item? I'm making a curse for you. We're heading to an island on the archaeological expedition. Mumble mumble. Interesting, yes, I may have something that could be of use. That's great. What would you like for it? Mumble mumble. Absolutely nothing. You can have it free of charge. Just be sure to bring back any interesting bones you find on that island. Uh, sure. Yeah. Thanks. Definitely not the suspicious. I know exactly who that old man is. He wants he wants bones for cannibalism or something. I accidentally pressed the star button. Of course I did. Why? 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 Does it always be doing that? <laughs> right. Let's go to the apothecary. Nice and easy peasy. Easy peasy quest once you know what ingredients you actually have to bring with you. Because who has the sanity to find out? I mean, there is a hundred percent one, at least one person. He's called Unguided. He's doing the entire old school RuneScape without a guide. All the quests. So, he's insane enough to do that, but I, considering my goal is already probably the most insane goal to ever achieve in this game, then, you know, I value my sanity and anything, any little tiny fraction of a thing that will help me retain my sanity will be beneficial to me, let's be honest there. This is going to take at least five years of my life to accomplish the goal of get every bloody item in old school RuneScape. I mean, for goodness sake, no one, no one, no Iron Man has actually even completed the collection log, let alone got every item in the game. And I'm not an expert at the game. These are people with actual expertise in the game. I am the apothecary. I blue brew potions. Do you need anything special? Anything specific? Yes, I would like. I'm looking for an unusual potion to get my crew through a curse fight. Ah, don't tell me. You want a potion of sea legs? Yes, actually, what's so funny? You'd be amused at the nonsense of these pirates believe. I'll let you in on a little secret. There is no magical potion to save you from the sea of swaps. The what have you been given the sailors? A simple herbal remedy containing vodka. <laughs> Lots of vodka. <laughs> Look, if you bring me the ingredients, I'll make you potion. It's not going to save your crew from sea curses, of course, but it'll certainly put their fears at rest. Well, I don't really have a choice here. I need that potion. What ingredients do you need? Two bottles of vodka and an unfinished marintil potion. I already have everything else I require. Okay, I'll be back soon. I've got the things that you need. Yep, I got them right here. 
There we go. There we go. We've got a potion of sea legs that is definitely not just getting them insanely drunk. Which I don't understand how getting drunk is a good idea on a ship, but I guess I guess it is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that that's certainly an entertaining way to do things. Just just give them vodka. Uh, to be fair, vodka helps a ton. I could probably drink, but I don't want to drink. I've got I've got alcohol. I just don't really like to consume it that often. But give it a few days. That bottle's probably gonna be looking very enticing to me, to say the least. But we never take it too far, so everything's okay anyway. We rarely ever drink, so it's not like. It's not like we're really unhealthy or anything, so there's that. Right, perfect. Let us go back to this dude, take our voyage, and everything will be okay. And I'm pretty sure this is probably the last bit of the quest as well. I'd assume, anyway. Come on, run. You can do it, character. I believe in you. Hello there again. For the third time. Yes. Can I go on to the barge please? Thank you. I appreciate it sir. Hello there. Yes I've managed to get your lucky charm. And I've managed to get your. Potion. Yeah I'm sure you are. Hello. Any luck getting your hands on the potion of sea legs? Yes I have it right here. Excellent work Serene Jen. I'm sure the crew will be very glad to hear about this. Looks like we've got everything we need to set off. Ready when you are. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's freaking go, everybody. Absolute perfection. Oh, each member of the crew, apart from the junior navigator, take a sip of the potion of sea leg. It doesn't take long for the potion to take effect, causing them to pass out. What did you the po what did your potion do to the crew? Well, the apothecary figured they can't be afraid if they're unconscious. But who's going to get us to the island? Aren't you meant to be a navigator? Yes, a junior navigator. I've never navigated open waters like this. What are we going to do? Okay, let me think. We need to operate the barge controls. I'll let you know if we're heading in the right direction. You'll have to fight against the winds to keep a bearing north. You can do that by steering the bard. You can increase or decrease the speed by adjusting the cells. You might find keeping bearing north easier at slower speeds, but it will take longer to reach the island. We've headed in the wrong direction. If we've headed in the wrong direction for too long, I'll take us back to the dig site. Let me know if you want to go back over these instructions at any point. The island is straight ahead. There we go. Easy. We've got this. There we go. Easy peasy. We got this, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We were so close.
We did it. We we successfully navigated it. it. Let's go. Let's go. The bone voyage is officially completed. And now we finally got 50 wonderful quest points. Good work, Serene Jen. You got us here in one piece. I suppose you'll want to start exploring the island as soon as possible. Here, take this journal so you can keep track of your discoveries. Base camp is being set up on shore. Let me know if you'd like to head there. Well, I would definitely like to do that. Perfect. Look at this, guys. We've unlocked it. We've unlocked a brand new place with birdhouse runs and scully skeps. Whatever the hell a scully skep is. There's the wyverns. There's a volcanic mine. That's the dig site pendant location. Um, birdhouses. We can see birdhouses there. Yay, let's go. So, we've officially, you know, a lot to brand new location. Exactly what we wanted and intended. So, I hope you all enjoy your day. I hope you all stay safe. Subscribe for more quests from me. And, this has been me, Serene Generation. And I am out, yo. Peace.